are a squash, others a pumpkin. No matter what you call it, they are in demand. Halloween is only three weeks from today. Mm -hmm. And for many, it's tradition to get pumpkins right from the patch. And News Channel 15's Mark Welp has a unique look at some lesser-known Halloween symbols. Mark. Well, guys, most people use pumpkins like this for decorating or making pies, but pumpkins aren't the only produce ripe for the picking this time of year. As I found out about town, there are some unusual vegetables growing here in central Illinois. Get, to get out in the country, see the beauty of the harvest, see the produce that's produced. At the 63-acre Great Pumpkin Patch near Arthur, you'll find plenty of pumpkins and plenty of things you may have never seen including what Bruce Condell says may be the most diverse selection of squash and gourds in the state. Tell me why they call this the neck squash. Well, not because of the way you're using it. It's because it does have a long neck on it, and the main part of the squash you eat is down here in the bulb. According to Matt Condell, you can eat squash, but probably won't want to eat gourds. But then again, you may not want to eat the southern minor exactly squash from Mexico. This won't rot until like March. It's got a really long shelf life. Um, it's really not very good for eating, so I guess you'd consider it a gourd, but I don't know. It's called a bitter melon, and it's actually anti-malarial. It's got a lot of um, medicinal purposes. Whether it's the Chinese winter melon or a variety of other strangely named squash, don't let the look fool you. I'm told these taste great. It's not much to look at, but apparently it's got a really good taste. You fry this up, and I think uh, you might surprise some people with how good it tastes. You ever hit anybody with one of these? No. I use the maranca over there. Yep, you can find almost any use for squash and gourds about town. And the Connells also showed me this prickly veggie. It's not a pumpkin, it's not a squash, and it's not even a gourd. Actually, this is a type of cucumber. You just have to make sure you peel it before you eat it. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks, Mark. Try biting into that in a salad. <laughs> you ever been hit with a maraca? <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that I have, actually. You can shake a maraca. <laughs> and the forecast still looks rainy, but not so windy. Storm Team Forecast is up next on News Channel 15 at 10. Here you go, Mark. <laughs> and with Halloween.